Thank you for calling the Cache County Sheriff's Office. If this isn't medical or any other emergency, please hang up and call 911. For the jail, press 1. For civil, press 2. For dispatch, press 3. For all other inquiries, press 4. To repeat this menu, press 0. County Sheriff's Office. Hello, this is James. Who am I speaking with? <clears throat> this is Janet, James. How can I help you? Janice, you say? Janet. Oh, Janet. All right. Hey, I was wondering if there's an age restriction for doing ride-alongs with your deputies. Do I need to be 18, 21? Question. Okay. Let me transfer you to Sergeant Openshaw, and he'll be able to answer all your questions. Okay, thank you. Hello, Sergeant Openshaw. Hello, Sergeant Openshaw. This is James. How you doing? Good. How are you? I'm doing good, thanks. Hey, I was wondering if you guys have an age limit restriction for uh, for me to do a ride along with your deputies. Uh, only for younger children. Okay. Otherwise, no. Okay. So, like, uh, they, they would be. What's our? We don't necessarily have an age limit. It, it has to be approved by parents if you're too young, but. Um, normally our age is about 14. Okay. So if you're older than that, you're, you, you should, you'll be fine. Okay. Uh, if you're under 18, then your parents have to sign our, our waiver form too and approve of it. Okay. Um, it, what if I were just to go to with, with a family member with the department, would I, would I need to, uh, fill out any forms or could I just jump in the front seat with him? Uh, yeah, if you've got a family member that's a, that works for us, um, you would still have to fill out the form. Okay. Uh, so we, we fill that out. So I guess my kids ride with me. I have to have that form filled out for all of them and have it on file too. Okay. All right. So you guys do that fairly so, often yeah, then, yeah. right? Let your kids uh -huh. come yeah. with? Okay. All right. Cool. Yeah, yeah, a lot of the guys will do that. I'm, and uh, I, I wouldn't say like my kids necessarily ride fairly often, but you'll have not necessarily like a ride along, but a lot of guys will uh, give kids uh, rides to school or pick them up after school in their in their patrol vehicle if they're coming or going from shift so um they, they still have to have that waiver done too to have their kids riding in the vehicle oh really okay so so yeah yeah, right. yeah. but but we'll bring we'll bring our kids out on ride alongs and stuff sometimes too if they want okay so, yeah we do that we do that i wouldn't say fairly often but it does happen yeah <laughs> okay is it different than if you put them in the back seat because I, I i've seen not in um cash county but other places cops give people rides and they always throw them in the back mm -hmm. seat so you don't need a waiver for that, right? Uh, well, if you're in the backseat in handcuffs, no, no waiver. <laughs> well, well, what I mean is I've seen. But, uh, I've like the... se what I mean is I've seen them give like courtesy rides. You know, someone who's been in a domestic dispute or something. They're like, hey, you know, I, uh -huh. I want to get to my parents' house, and they'll put them in the backseat, not in handcuffs. They're not under arrest. And again, uh -huh. I haven't seen it with your, you know, with with Cash County. Um, but yeah, I was I was curious if there has to be a waiver done on that too or not. I usually no, see them just pattern down. Not for a courtesy type ride. Yeah. We're not where you're out dealing on an incident at that moment. Like I gave a guy, so, so like an example, I had a kid who was hit by a car uh, while he was riding his bike across the street in Logan the other day, and I just rolled up on it. Was the first one there, so I threw his his bike was damaged. So I threw it in the back of my truck, and he rode. I gave him a ride back home, so he didn't have to sign any waiver or anything. Not where he's involved in that incident or working that at that moment. Okay. All right. Cool. So, that no, makes sense. No. So you can even ride up front no. if it's an incident type thing, right? You don't have to throw them in the back. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <clears throat> no, they wouldn't have to sit in the back, but they could ride up front. Okay. Well, the incidents so. I've usually seen are crackheads or something where they put them in the back. They haven't actually committed a crime or anything, <laughs> yeah. but they're like, "All right, I'll give you a ride somewhere, but you're not sitting up front with me." <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it just depends. It's kind of officer discretion. If we feel good and comfortable having them sit up front, great. If we don't, they may go in the back. <laughs> So, yeah, absolutely. Oh so, yeah, but I, if you're if you're looking at doing like a a ride along, then you you'd need to fill out our waiver, and that's something I can send to you if you're interested. Okay. Uh, if you've got a family member that works for us, they could get a hold of it and have it signed, and then it basically comes back to me. Either way, it comes back to me, 
and then I do a quick background check to make sure, you know, we don't have people with felonies riding with us and stuff like that. Just something crazy. Okay. Uh, and then, uh, and then we just file, we, we add that into a file and, and I let them know they're good to ride, that you're good to ride with them and you're good to go. Okay. Um, so, cool. Yeah. I've been getting more interested. I, I, I've seen this guy on YouTube recently in the area and kind of, <laughs> yeah, yeah. What, uh, what do you guys know about that guy? Just, I mean, it seems uh, like he's just bit. trashing cops. What's he's, going on with that? That's about normal. He's not the only one that does it. I mean, you'll have, you know, if you decide to go in this line of work, you'll, you'll run into people that are constitutionalists, but, um, there, there's those that don't like cops for whatever reason. So he's what they call like a first amendment auditor. So he likes to go out and videotape cops and make sure we're not violating people's civil rights. Which, which is fine. He, you know, they're allowed to videotape as long as they're not interfering with what we're trying to do. Okay. So See, it seems um, kind of annoying. That's all. I, I guess it's legal, it's though. Definitely annoying. It's legal. It's legal, but it's definitely it's, and it's definitely annoying. It it becomes a problem. Like I said, if he's getting into our crime scene or interfering in some way, then. Um, he, he actually did that the other day and interfered and uh, walked into our scene, and so he got himself arrested. <laughs> what did he? What did he do to interfere? So, was he? It happens. Was he messing with evidence on your scene or something again? Or no, no, yeah, I mean, I can't go into the details, but it's just one of those things that if you, you know, if we give you that warning of hey, you, you can't come in into this area, you got to stay back, and you do it anyway, and you interfere, he's gonna you get arrested. Okay. So, but otherwise, I mean, as long as he complies he, and he stays, you know, if I say, hey, you can stay over there on that sidewalk and film like all you want. I don't care. And he does that, then great. There's no problem. All right. But, yeah. So if I. Yeah. I mean, it is something that we're definitely aware of because it's, it's a safety concern for us. And we're just, yeah, yeah, we're, we're, we're familiar with him. Yeah. Um, that was kind of what got me interested. But then on the same note, I'm like, man, what if I'm on a ride along with these guys and this asshole? I mean, sorry. And this. This guy is recording me too. Like, can he record me too if I'm out there with you guys? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's like that's not interference. He could, he could stand on a he could stand on a street corner and videotape anybody he wanted to because he's out in the public and there's no expectation of privacy when you're out in the public. So you can't so, just yeah, you, you can't just call it interference and arrest him for me if he's recording me if I'm out with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, nope. Uh. Well, no, nope, yeah. Don't, don't give annoying. me a taser. Hopefully, hopefully, if you come do some rides, you won't uh, run into him. But yeah, don't give hopefully. me a taser. So I can't fight him if I'm out there either. <laughs> gotcha. is it? Can't fight him. Yeah, so it wouldn't be okay no. for me to fight him if he was we'll, recording me. No, we'll avoid fighting him and stuff. We'll, yeah. So we basically just ignore him uh, unless he's doing something that's going to constitute interfering or being disorderly or causing some kind of problem while we're trying to do other things. All right. What, so, at what point? If he's just standing there recording, then whatever. But if he's interfering with our job and what we're trying to do, then it becomes a problem. At what point does he cross that line? Then I mean, where? I mean, I I thought that just being there, you know, would constitute interference because it's annoying. So at what point yeah. does it cross the line from you know legal to interference? Yeah. So unfortunately, just being annoying isn't uh, going to constitute interfering. Um, interfering would be more if. Uh, uh, if you know, like if he, uh, oh, what's a good example? Um, so like if I'm trying to affect an arrest and he's yelling and hollering, or maybe he's coming up and getting really close where I don't feel safe anymore, that's going to be interfering. Um, if he's, if I say, Hey, you need to stay on this side of the street. You can't come over to this area. And he does it anyway. That's going to be interfering. So those kinds of things where he's failing to comply with a police officer's command to do something or, um, or, you know, he's, he's, he's violating that, that safe distance or just something where, you know, and, and he comes up and he's getting too close. And I say, Hey man, you need to stay back. And he's like, F you, I can do whatever. I'm going to come up here and get as close as I want. And he moves even closer. That's going to be a problem. All right. Well, I guess if it, that makes sense. So he's got to be he's got to be actively doing something to interfere, not just standing down on the street corner videotaping. If that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, it, you know, 
Fair enough. It, it would it, be it nice does. if it was different, but yeah, that's it's, that's how it is. I mean, I suppose it, it does. I mean, this in it, good in our favor. It does sound like it's somewhat arbitrary, and all we have to do is say, "Hey, man, I want you to go over there." And if he doesn't, you know, then we get to arrest him, right? <laughs> Yeah. I mean, it is fairly arbitrary. Yeah, I mean, we it's have not really... to, and we have to have a good reason. I can't just be a jerk and be like, hey, you need to go three blocks away. And if you don't, but yeah, it's, it has to be reasonable, too. But... Okay. Where do, where do those uh, reasonable anyway, standards yeah. come from? Is it is it in legislation, or is it kind of just whatever the officer feels like? Yeah, just whatever, just whatever would be reasonable to most people, really. And stuff that I can articulate as far as, like, our safety and things like that. So, I mean, during the, you probably, if you've seen some of his videos, you probably saw the one where we had the chase and the shooting. Mm-hmm. Um, so he was up videotaping on those, and, you know, we pretty much just ignored him, and we, we let him know the limits, like, you can't come here. Um, you know, we set up the roadblock going up to the incident so he couldn't go up there, and, yeah. and those types of things. So you just have to, you, you just have to kind of be nice and, try to de-escalate him if he's es- escalating things and just yeah it, it's, and it's, it's kind of a shame it's very difficult sometimes it's kind of a shame too because you wouldn't have even had to shut off that road to everybody else if if he weren't there right no we still would have shut it down to everybody okay because you've got a crime scene up there now that we've got to we've got to work <laughs> and so we don't want anybody coming near it oh okay i mean there's there's exceptions so like there's people that lived in a different house down lower that uh, that, you know, they would stop and talk to us and be like, well, I, yeah, I'm not going all the way up there. I'm actually going here. And so we would allow them in because they're not going up to the scene. But we tried to limit where people were going and who was going in and out just right. so people didn't just, didn't just show up there all of a sudden right? while other guys were trying to work on at work in the crime scene. So it wasn't necessarily just for him. It was for it was, it was to limit anybody going up there. So, like, even if you had a homeowner that maybe lived there, we may or may not let them go up there to their house because, unfortunately, their whole yard became a crime scene. <laughs> or yeah. a big portion of it. Yeah, that, that sucks. So, yeah. Yeah. So, well, but anyway, so that's, yeah, so you, you just do the best you can. All right. Well, I'd like to see you all tase him sometime soon if you could. <laughs> <laughs> that would be entertaining, but, yeah, that's, yeah. Uh, I'm sure there'd be a video of that if we did, so. <laughs> you think that'd be in your favor or not in your favor, though? Probably not. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it, I think... Most of the stuff's usually not in anybody's favor. <laughs> I think most of the community supports you guys, though, don't you? Yeah. That's that's how we've always felt up here, especially in Cash Valley. Yeah. Um, you know, when we had... Uh, when we had like all the rioting going on in Salt Lake and stuff, all the Black Lives Matter stuff, like we got, I know there were people that paid for meals for us when we were out working. And then there was people that just came up and said, Hey, thanks for what you're doing. And like, we saw a lot of that, like an increase of people coming up and telling us thanks and stuff, which was pretty cool. Did you see so this, this community is usually for the most part, a lot better than other places. We have one guy who works for us that, transferred up from the salt lake area and even he's like yeah it's way different here than in salt lake because in salt lake most people hate you <laughs> and uh here it's like everybody likes you so yeah. it's, it's interesting but it's, it's a good place to live and work here for sure did you see what happened in cordal i think it's coeur d'alene coeur d'alene idaho when blm tried to go up there uh don't remember if i saw that or not what oh on that one? yeah no police necessary a thousand residents lined the streets with rifles and uh oh oh well, there you go yeah yeah and blm never showed up to destroy anybody's private property they no, uh, good. they canceled yeah yeah and it's a lot easier to do stuff when you've got all the citizens backing you too yeah so yeah it's definitely nice that's that's what i'm saying just tase him dude i don't think that you know i mean in your <laughs> look, let's think about it in your area say you tase the guy in the back for no reason at all it's gonna go to a jury right uh, what kind of jury in your area is going to say that cop did wrong, right? <laughs> well, they, you never know nowadays. You see, there's been some crazy stuff going on in courts and juries and stuff, so I don't know. Well, I'll, I'll try but, it. I'll go on a ride along, I'll kick him in the dick, and we'll see if a jury thinks I did wrong. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, so it's... 
it's hard. You just got to make sure you're not crossing the line and you're, it's hard. You know, you get people calling you names and yelling and swearing at you and you have to be polite and professional still. So it's definitely difficult to do sometimes, but it's just what's expected from us. So, yeah. All right. Well, All right. I, I appreciate your time, man. And I appreciate your service. Yeah, no problem. All right. Have a oh, good one. Thanks. Day. I appreciate it. You too. We'll see you later. Bye.